Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. A teacher has a rope with a length equal to L centimeters. Using the entire rope, he forms the edges of a non-square rectangle with area equal to A centimeter squared. What is the length of the smaller side of this rectangle in centimeters in terms of L and A? This is adapted from the 2016 Chile PSU exam. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So let's visualize this process. We have a rope with length equal to L. Using the entire length of the rope, the teacher forms a non-square rectangle with area equal to A. Suppose the shorter side of the rectangle is equal to x, and the longer side of the rectangle is equal to y. We want to solve for x. So because the rope has length equal to L, we know the perimeter of the rectangle is equal to L. This means 2y plus 2x is equal to L. We will solve this equation for y. Subtract 2x from both sides, and then divide by 2, to get y is equal to 0.5l minus x. We now know the area of the rectangle is equal to a, so x times y is equal to a. Substituting in for y, we can then simplify this equation to get 0.5xl minus x squared minus a is equal to zero. So let's focus on this equation. We'll multiply both sides of the equation by negative two to give the quadratic equation 2x squared minus xl plus 2a is equal to 0. We then use the quadratic formula to get x is equal to l plus or minus the square root of the quantity l squared minus 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2a, and this is all over 2 multiplied by 2. This simplifies to be l plus or minus the square root of the quantity l squared minus 16a all over 4. We just have one final detail. We have two sides of the rectangle, x and y, and we want to solve for the smaller side, which we have labeled as x. So we have x, which is less than y. So there are two possible solutions to this quadratic equation, and the longer side, the plus solution, will correspond to y, and the shorter side will correspond to subtracting the radical. Therefore, x is equal to l minus the square root of the quantity l squared minus 16a, all over four. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.